In the last video, we set up a basic PARA system to organize our life in Notion. Today we'll improve this PARA setup to make it even more helpful. Firstly, we'll create a new task database and link it to the project's database. We start by adding a new database page and deleting the tags property. I'll add a checkbox property for the completion of our projects, a date property for the due date, and then a relation property to link it to our project's database. I'll touch it up by removing the vertical lines and resizing the column width. Now that we have linked the project and task database, I will create a project template to include a task database under each project page. We first copy the link to this task database. Then we'll go into our project database and create a new template. Then I'll paste the link to the task database on the page body. I'll hide the project property since we don't need it on this page. To see only tasks related to a specific project, we need to add a filter. The filter should be set to the page name of this template. Lastly, I'll add sorting to see uncompleted tasks above completed ones. And now, we can apply this template to an existing project page. If you want to use this project template for every newly created project, you can also set this template page as the default template. Before we forget, let us return to our task page to separate our completed and incomplete tasks. We'll rename this view as incomplete and add a filter to see only unchecked tasks. Then we'll duplicate this view, rename it as completed and change the filter to check tasks. Moving on, we want to create an all-in-one view for this PARA setup. The idea of this page is to have an overview of everything on a single page, so you do not need to go into the different pages to access your tasks, projects, and resources. I'll first turn this home page into full width and turn it into a two column view. On the right side is where we will have the database views, which should be personalized to your daily workflow. I will start by adding my project database. I'll copy and paste the database link to create a link view. I'll choose a gallery view and show the area's property. I want to see my in-progress projects at the top of the page to know my current priorities. To do this, I will add a filter to show only projects with the status set to in-progress. Next, I will add a today view for my tasks. I will create a link view of the task database and add a filter to see only tasks assigned to today's date. Next. I also want to have a weekly overview of my tasks. I will hence create a link view of my task database. I will use the calendar view this time and change it to the weekly layout. Then I'll have my areas database to jump into the different areas of my life and view the relevant projects under them. Lastly, I will add my resources database. I want to see only the resources that need to be reviewed so that I will add a filter for the status of this view. And that's how you can create an all-in-one view for your PARA setup. Lastly, we'll finish this setup by adding an inbox page. An inbox page is where you see your unprocessed tasks, projects, and resources. This is where you capture new database items on the go to clear your mind and focus on the task at hand, and then only come back to process them afterwards. We'll add a new page on the left and give it a name and icon. We'll get our task database link and create the link view here. I will add a filter to check that the date and project property is empty. We'll need to use the advanced filter to do this. Then we'll get our project database. Then for projects, I will filter for those with the status set to inbox. And similarly, for the resources database, I will filter for those with the status set to inbox. Lastly, 
I will turn these headings of each database into a toggle to quickly show or hide what I need to see. And that's all you need for an inbox page. A quick tip before we end this video. You can easily access these pages using the sidebar. And you can set a name and icon for the database views on the all-in-one view we created. This can make accessing the relevant views easier, especially on mobile. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in building a personalized second brain in Notion, be sure to check out my Notion course launching later this half of the year. The course lessons will be more structured, and I'll go slower and more in-depth into using Notion for productivity, knowledge management, and personal development. I'll leave the link in the description and see you in the next video.